Yes, go on. <laughs> The Technical Training Department of Yaskawa America Incorporated presents Flashing a Z1000 Commercial HVAC Drive. Hi, I'm Steve Kaler. Now, from the moment you take it out of the box, a Yaskawa Z1000 Commercial HVAC Drive is constantly being improved. This improvement happens through the updates to the firmware that control your drive. Now, if you want to enjoy the benefits of these improvements, you'll need to know how to load these updates using a process we call flashing. And that's what we'll be learning about today for both a drive and its companion bypass. Now, when we use the term flashing, we mean that we're updating the data file that stays resident in the unit's firmware. Flashing keeps your software up to date with the latest fixes. In some cases, it can also add the ability to connect with the latest versions of common networking protocols. It is important to note that flashing won't clear out the system's current programming. You won't need to set up the drive's parameters or operating functions all over again, unless you go beyond flashing to fully initializing the drive. That isn't likely, however, because you don't commonly need to initialize when you flash a drive. Begin the process by obtaining the latest version of the flash files for your drive and its matching bypass board. For Z1000 series drives, the proper file will have the file name extension .mot. If your unit is equipped with a bypass, you'll also need to get the latest YFlash file. Yaskawa posts these files on the web for your convenience. The link for the Yaskawa Partner Login web portal is in the top menu at yaskawa.com. The username and password you'll need to gain access is available by contacting your local Yaskawa distributor or sales rep. So, log on and then use the online interface to download the current .mot and YFlash files to your computer. Now that you have the most current flash file version, you'll want to compare it to the version of the flash file that is currently on the drive. You can do this by using the LCD display on the drive that we're seeking to update. Begin by powering up the drive. Then, using the keypad to access the monitor menu, select the monitor U1-25. This will tell you the version of the file currently resident in the firmware of the drive. Select the monitor UB-18 on the keypad to see the version of the YFlash file that is currently in the bypass. Now, if both files are the same version as the ones you just downloaded, the drive is already updated and you won't need to go any further. If not, let the updating begin. To start updating, you'll need to have Yaskawa's Drive Wizard HVAC software installed on your Windows computer. If you don't already have it, Drive Wizard is available on the Yaskawa website as a free download. Before we flash the drive, we'll need to make sure we're using the latest version of Drive Wizard, and that's as easy as starting the program. It will notify you if any updates are available. You can also check for updates using the Update option in Drive Wizard's Help menu. Having the most current version of Drive Wizard is very important. Without it, you won't have all the necessary updates and improvements. Now, when you finish installing the update, the program will close down and restart. After Drive Wizard is started again, click on the Maintenance item in the Home menu. Maintenance is the icon with the screwdriver. The next screen offers two options, including a Flash Write tool. Click on the Flash Write tool and a drop-down menu will appear. Since we're flashing the Z1000 series drive, choose the 1000 series option. From the Flash Write screen, simply follow the on-screen steps to flash the drive. But before we do, it's very important to make sure the Drive Wizard recognizes the COM port on your computer that we're using to communicate with the drive. The easiest way to accomplish this is to load the Device Manager in Microsoft Windows and check to see what COM port your computer is using to communicate with the Yaskawa drive. This is also a good way to verify proper driver installation if you are using a USB adapter.
To set the COM port properly within Drive Wizard's Flash Write menu, click on the Communication Port link found in the top right corner of the Flash Write screen. This allows you to select the COM port you saw in Device Manager and designate it as the one connected to your drive. COM port errors are among the most common problems we encounter when helping users troubleshoot the drive flashing process. That's why it is important to use the COM port test function found on your Flash Write screen. Just click the test button to make sure you have the COM port communication working properly. From this point, flashing the drive and the bypass is a simple matter of following the steps on the Flash Tool screen. Begin by powering down the drive and waiting until the charge indicator is off. Connect the boot flash cable to the computer. Yaskawa recommends using a UWR01076-1 flash cable. When the cable is connected to your computer, remove the digital operator. If you have a smaller bypass, there may be a dummy operator you need to remove. Connect the other end of the boot flash cable to the connector on the drive's control board. Now you're ready to power up the drive. Turn back to your computer and click the Open option in the Flash tool. Find and select the latest version of the .mot file you downloaded, then click Open again to load it. You are now ready to write the new Flash file to the drive. Click the Flash button to start the process, which usually takes two to three minutes. A status bar will indicate your progress in the process. Now that we've updated the drive's flash file, let's turn our attention to updating the flash file on the bypass. We begin by powering down the bypass and the drive, making sure we wait until the charge indicator is off. Connect the boot flash cable to the connector on the bypass logic board. If possible, run the cable through the door to keep high voltage terminals from being exposed when the unit is powered up. When the cable is properly connected, power up the drive and the bypass. In the Flash tool, select the most current Y-Flash file, then click on the Flash button to write the new Y-Flash file to the bypass. If the flash process doesn't complete successfully, here are a few things you want to check to find out why. First, check to make sure the COM port number is correct. Also, look at the cable connections on the computer, the drive, and the bypass board to be sure they are properly seated. Check the dip switches on the connection cable as well, making sure that both switches are flipped to the off position for normal flashing. If you are trying to recover a drive from a previously failed flash attempt, both switches should be set to the ON position for boot mode. After the flashing process is completed, follow the steps in the dialog box on the computer screen. Power down the bypass and the drive. Wait for the charging light to extinguish. Remove the flash cable. Insert the digital operator and restore power to the drive and the bypass. When you power up after flashing, make sure the system indicates no alarms or faults. If an alarm or fault arises, cycle power to the drive once again. Cycling power too quickly can often cause an alarm or a fault. So be sure to leave the drive powered off until the charge light is completely extinguished. If you aren't certain, wait a while longer. Now, if you're still getting alarms or faults, try reinitializing the drive. But before you do, remember that reinitializing will clear out the drive's current programming. On the other hand, reinitializing the drive should remove most alarms and faults. If problems still persist, or if the keypad is locked out, contact Yaskawa Technical Support for further troubleshooting measures. Complete the flashing process by checking the drive's display. Access the keypad and move through the LCD display to U1-25 to see the current version of the drive's flash file. Access UB-18 on the menu to check your Y flash file for the bypass. Now, if you see the latest versions of the flash file in both displays, 
Congratulations! Your system has been successfully flashed. Well, we've come to the end of this training program, but it is definitely not the end of our commitment to make Yaskawa drives and motion products the best in the industry. The commitment to quality continues in the way we work with our customers and with our vendors. It's in the way we train our associates. It means we deliver product on time, we answer questions quickly, and we never say we can't. Yaskawa quality is reflected in the effort our associates bring to work every day, to us. Quality means doing everything we can to make our customers, partners, and employees' experience a great one. We commit to that. We make it happen. We can because to us, it's personal.